Here's a question for Stop Tanaka. Uh, removing one of the tenants. I have a property with two tenants. One of them will be removed from the lease. I don't know uh, what to do. Um, this is actually an easy question for me. Um, I love that. Uh, so tenants come to you at, because that's their next phase of their life often. Uh, their next phase is to upgrade into your unit or maybe upgrade into the job that brought them into Philadelphia or to uh, upgrade in some way. You happen to provide what they actually, uh, what their current phase of life is now. Um, now, as time goes on, uh, they might be moving on to another phase. It might be home ownership. And some, a lot of our rentals are higher end rentals and a lot of the folks that actually rent properties from us are moving on to home ownership. Uh, now with roommates, we love roommates. So I think not all of our owners that we represent uh, think that roommates are ideal, but we prefer roommates over uh, over over individuals. Uh, and the reason being is because when we, especially when we have three bedrooms or more, um, and it lessens as we get down to two bedrooms, uh, but when we have three bedrooms, that's kind of the magic number. Because what happens is, is one of the roommates will inevitably approach us and go, um, uh, I really want to, I really want to break my lease. I really want to, I want to, you know, move on to the next phase of my life. Um, we love that. We're like, absolutely. We're, we'll help you. We'll help you do that. We'll uh, get the other tenants to uh, sign a paper agreeing to take the financial responsibility for that tenant. And we're going to nicely escort that tenant uh, off of the property. And now the existing tenants are going to go and find a replacement roommate. So they're doing all the work to find the replacement roommate. So we don't actually, the owner is not getting charged a leasing fee. So we charge a fee, a one month fee, if and when we need to find you a tenant. Well, if the tenants replace you know, the roommate, there's no need for that fee. So it's, it's perfect for the owners. Uh, now the dynamic that we have is, is the tenant that's coming in now feels like he's the odd man out. He's the, he's the added on tenant. And we actually take extensive steps to make that tenant feel as though he's an existing tenant. So we get a whole new lease and now he's an official, super official, can't be more official third roommate. And the reason being is, is because that roommate, that added on last minute roommate might be the last man standing. So the other two roommates quite possibly might be eventually moving on to their next phase of their life. This guy's going to be the last man standing and he's going to go and he's going to replace the other two roommates and then eventually one of them will be the last man standing. So we actually have units that we've had for uh, years uh, that have never been vacants just because the roommates just kind of keep replacing themselves and replacing themselves and we facilitate this. So we, we don't, I don't want to say we encourage it because we don't, we don't do anything to make it happen. But when a tenant approaches us and wants to move out, we make sure they can uh, if the other tenants agree. And we uh, bring the new tenant in or have the tenants bring the new tenant in. We have we give them our application. So we do a full criminal credit background check, a full new lease. And, uh, and then this way you can avoid vacancy, which is incredibly expensive for an owner. Uh, so absolutely, uh, if, if one of the roommates wants to move out, uh, there's no reason not to let them. It's all it's all a good thing.